it's not the highest fall in the history but uh, this was quite expected uh, because you know there was uh, a lot of beta beta means uh, that you know the stock prices were uh, a bit inflated and the valuations were a bit stretched uh, so that is one reason that uh, you know we are seeing some correction in the market so i would say it's not a crash it's a correction uh, whenever markets head towards uh, uh, the all time highs uh, this kind of a correction is uh, quite uh you know expected so this is on the expected lines uh, especially you know railway defense stocks and most of the stocks which had moved up quite a bit you know they are correcting 5 7% 6% today so there are global factors associated with it as well so not only that we are seeing uh, a correction in indian markets is due to uh, the fact that we have touched the all time high of 25000 but there are a uh, few international uh, you know reasons as well number one the geopolitical tensions uh, between iran and uh, uh, israel and you know us jumping into it and uh, there are other countries like yemen uh, which are uh, you know already embroiled into it palestine so a lot of uh, geopolitical tensions in the middle east this is one reason the second reason is that you know uh, the bank of japan increased the uh, their interest rates by 25 basis points uh, lately now for almost 30 years uh, it was a zero interest rate uh so uh, you know investors or you know traders in us they used to borrow yen at almost a zero uh, you know interest rate and they used to carry this yen and you know used to buy risky assets like bitcoin or uh, you know maybe invest in equities and other stuff so uh, the cost of carry trade increased so that is also one reason we are seeing a you know huge sell off in uh, uh, in countries like us and even in japan so uh, japan saw almost 10000 points on the nikkei uh, so i think that you know this global sell off is uh, also due to the fact that uh, it is expected that us fed would uh, you know be dovish on the interest rates they have not reduced the interest rates at all people are following the federal reserve including india i think that we have an impending uh, credit policy and uh, shakti kanta das is also looking at uh, the us federal reserve when we see interest rates coming down from there uh, then probably you know we'll also see interest rates coming down here in india so i don't see a crash coming back to the point but yes this correction was kind of it is on the expected lines uh, because we have seen that you know our stocks have moved up quite a bit and this this would happen uh, another point you touched upon was the retail investors so post covid uh, we saw you know uh, an influx of uh, a huge number of uh, Uh, retail investors uh, you know i've been into markets for over 3 decades and there were about you know 2 and a half 3 crore investors uh, or folios in the market and post covid this swell took close to about 15 16 crores so uh, so this is this is a huge addition in the last 4 years and most of these new investors are generally young chaps and people who have not seen any major correction that's why any 400 500 600 point correction uh, you know it starts worrying them a lot and people lose a lot of money a uh, good thing about indian markets is that there is hardly any leverage uh, so which the crash we saw in 2008 was primarily due to leverage because uh, people were leveraged and uh, the systems and processes were like uh, uh, you know people used to leverage their positions brokers used to give a lot of limits but now people are primarily working on their own money Uh, which is good for the market so whenever there is a crash there is a huge leverage so mind you uh, in us we have huge leverage maybe in japan we have huge leverage but in india the the silver lining is that we do not have a huge leverage point number 2 we are we are having a more or less good gdp growth rate thirdly tax collections have been very good uh, gst uh, it has been swelling and uh, even the direct tax uh, we saw that you know we had uh, the god number of people calling uh, uh, you know uh, filing their income taxes and we are going to see the number i think it's going to be a good uh, direct tax number as well so more or less indian economy is in shape we are in a sweet spot and our domestic institutions are helping the market a lot and there is a lot of sip money which is getting into the markets on a daily basis so i don't see a crash so this is a correction it might deepen further but uh, i don't think that it's a matter of uh, huge worry Uh, it's staying invested in good stocks unleveraged companies these companies which are profitable uh, i think that you know they could come back very sharply